Uh, this is the Administration and Public Works Committee. Welcome, everyone. Um, first item on our agenda is uh, approval of minutes, regular meeting, April 27. Second. Thank you. Any changes? Hearing none. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Next item is the City of Evanston payroll through April 19, $2,611,000. One hundred twenty-two dollars and fifty-nine cents. Uh, move approval. Move approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Next item is the uh, bills from uh, through let's see May second. Um, could we have one minute just to take a look at it? Look it's at May the 12th. responses. Oh, Pardon me. May twelfth. May twelfth. City of Evanston bills through May twelfth. Yes. Sorry about that. Everybody uh, check their bills list questions. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so we have a motion to approve. Do we have a second? I would second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Bills. Credit card activity for the period ending March 30, $162,223.84. Move approval. Second. Okay. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? So, um, Alderman Grover, you want to take A1? Yes, ma'am. Chair, I move A3.1, approval of a contract with Midwest Pressure Washing and Restoration for tuck pointing and porch repairs for the Lorraine H. Morton Civic Center boiler building in the amount of $26,784. Second. Any discussion? You all have any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of recommending to the council? Aye. Any opposed? Next, Alderman Holmes. Um, Madam Chair, A3.2, approval of replacement vehicle uh, purchase from Curry Motors um, in the amount of $146,220. They represent two Fords, one dump truck in, um, uh, two dump trucks, I guess, two Ford dump trucks. Second. Okay. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Um, a 3.3 approval of a contract with Global Emergency Products for testing, repair, and certification of fire apparatus and aerial devices for our very large um, fire service vehicles in the amount of $72,300. Second. Okay. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Madam Chair, I move A4, approval of a sidewalk cafe for Blaze Pizza at 1739 Sherman Avenue, following recommendation of staff. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Um, Madam Chair, A5, um, resolution 47-R-15, Authorizing a residential lease with Ann Carlson and Cody Modier for 620, 631 and 32 Howard Street, Unit 2. Um, that's it. Second. This is the um, apartment over the Ward 8 bar where the owners live. All right. Any discussion? Any other? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Right. Next is Resolution 49 R15. It has to do with the transfer of funds from the City's Affordable Housing Fund to CDBG Revolving Loan Fund um, for housing rehab costs that were disallowed by HUD. Um, the projects and costs are eligible use of the City's Affordable Housing Fund. And it's in the amount of $41,964.50. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Madam Chair, I move A7. 
an ordinance, 53015, authorizing a three-year lease agreement with the League of Women Voters of Evanston for office space right here at the Lorraine H. Morton Civic Center. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Uh, Madam Chair, A3, um, A8, <laughs> Ordinance 61-0-15, Alley Paving Special Assessment Number 1513. Um, staff recommends um, approving of this ordinance for special set assessments, uh, including the alley north of Koufax, east of Central Park, um, in the funding amount of $252,624.94. Second. Any discussion? It should be pointed out that these were both listed originally in um, the online packet for, as for action, but and free. that was simply just an oversight. It's really for introduction. Right. right. All those in favor of um, A8, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Right. This is a similar one, 62015 ordinance, alley paving special assessment, 15, number 1514. Um, it has to do with paving the alley north of Lyons, east of Ashland Avenue, um, in the amount of $261,013.58. And as special assessments go, the residents who abut the alley will pay one half. For introduction. Okay. All those in favor of recommending to the council say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Um, Alderman Grover, could, these are all together. Could you do them all? Yes, indeed. Uh, I move A10, A11, and A12, three items. They are ordinances 63015, 64015, and 65015, <laughs> dedicating for alley paving purposes. Uh, certain land on the first occasion owned by John Simonetti and Megan Chrisham. There's no address attached. Uh, 27th, I don't know which one is 2734, 2738, and 2746 That's Central right. Park it's Avenue. All the same alley. Um, another, another portion of property dedicated to the city owned by Sarah Russell, north of Sarah, east of Marcy, and another. Own certain land owned by Zachary Meddy and Mary Meddy, north of Thayer, east of Marcy. Okay. Three ordinances for introduction tonight. Right. Second. Um, Alderman Grover, is this your ward? This is no. This is in the sixth, sixth ward. ward. Sixth ward. Well, this was a good solution to a very mm -hmm. tiny alley. All right. All those in favor of recommending to the council say aye. 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 Any opposed? Welcome. All right. Okay. We'll, we'll let you. Uh, okay, you're you're mm -hmm. next. Uh, A13, Ordinance 54 0 15, amending City Code Section 3 4 6 T, allowing the sale and service of alcoholic liquor for catering. Second. Okay. Um, and there's been sus uh, requested for suspension of yes, the rules for right. introduction so, and action um, tonight. All right, so we'll ask the committee to recommend introduction and suspension of the rules. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. Next is Ordinance 55015, increasing the number of Class F liquor licenses for Valley Produce of Evanston, LLC, doing business as Valley Produce of Evanston. 1910 Dempster Street. It should be noted that this is the Dempster Dodge Shopping Plaza. We're very excited about this. Okay. <laughs> um, any discussion? The gentlemen from Valley are here. Would you would you just like to come up and promote your business for a minute? <laughs> Give us an update. Um, yeah. yeah. Good evening. Uh, Frank Greco from Valley Produce. Carmen Presto. Basically, uh, construction is going full steam ahead. Uh, we're about middle of July uh, for an opening. Uh, we'll start filling shelves mid-June. Uh, probably have a soft opening for a couple of weeks and then ramp it right into a grand opening. Um, we're very pleased with the construction progress on the interior. Um, the renovation is you know, very extensive. You guys have seen some of the slides and updates. Um, I think everyone's going to be very, very happy with uh, with all the the renovations and the new look. I'm sure we are. Anything? No. 
So we don't uh, total look at the sales for the... Yeah, basically the, the interior of the store, square footage for, uh, for retail sales is around 38,400. The liquor department itself is about 2,670 square feet. Um, and it'll have your beer and wine and, and spirits. You know, so it'll be a full liquor department. Okay. What, what, is the si what was the size of Dominic's? The, well, the entire building, Dominic's, okay, was, was 58,000. Their sales area, I'm not sure. Um, I would say a lot smaller. We've increased the whole footprint to 69,000. Yeah. You know. Um, I think I have um, Alderman Braithwaite, then Alderman Holmes. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, just a couple of quick statements. First of all, thank you all. Uh, just to let members of the uh, committee know, as well as the public, anyone paying attention, that they did meet with the Evanston Police Department. Um, as you all know, that Dominic's has had a, a, a history in town in terms of what happened at the liquor department, and as a result of that, we had to place an outpost and blah, 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 blah. But they did meet with our, our folks at Evanston Police and Department, and they're very happy with with whatever scheme that you came up to to section off the liquor to make it, you know, safe for all shoppers and, and, and not a big target for kids who come in from the high school. They would still, so that was the first thing. So thank you for that. Um, the second thing, and I don't know if, if members of our public work staff is here, are you guys aware that this season, starting now, that there's going to be a ton of construction up and down Dempster as well as Dodge? So I just want to make sure that you're aware and you're in touch with our staff in the event that, you know, the timing of your delivery trucks and stocking for your grand open isn't interrupted due to the... Uh, Where do we find a schedule for uh, that? I think our director is right behind you. Mm -hmm. or did they leave? No, she's right out. She's out of so, Yeah, we'll make sure that you connect with our director okay. of public works and engineering department, just so you're aware. Sure. Um, and then you also have a job fair that, that's, that's coming up. June, June 2nd and yeah, 3rd. Do you want to talk a little bit about that to promote it? Yeah, we're going to have the job for June um, 2nd and 3rd. We uh, passed out the flyers. We got them at the Starbucks, the Duck and Donuts, Subway, did as much as we can. My assistant Taylor reached out to different city officials here at Evanston to get them more promoted. Um, we're looking for... Yeah, we're looking for all the jobs. We, we have it on the website also. You could fill out the applications, which we started about two weeks ago for the applications, and we've been getting numerous applications. I already met, I had a few interviews yesterday from a couple people from Evanston, drove out to the Hoffman Estates location. The interviews went good, so we already are taking applications. That's great. And are you in touch with any of the folks from the old Dominics? Do you have any way of knowing, any way of getting no, in touch with them? No, not at all. I mean, one when Dominic's, uh, when Safeway closed all the Dominic's, there was a job fair that Safeway sponsored in Rosemont. Okay. And we did go to that job fair as well. We had a table there. That's great. Um, a lot of the people have been placed by now. Okay. You know, so it's been a you know a little too long from, uh, mm -hmm. a little too far removed. Got it. Alderman Holmes and then Alderman Grover. Well, I just want to congratulate you on the nail shop. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a long road. <laughs> it was, it's absolutely great. I mean, it really is. I mean, in size, it's just increased. It's really very, very, very nice. I wanted to congratulate you on that. And can you give us an update on, on any other prospects of who's going to be in, in the shopping center? Do we know that yet? Or is that able to, are you able to share that yet? Um, I think as far as the deals that are actually signed, I would say we have uh, Played Against Sports is coming in. Um, the other deal that's signed is what I'm sorry. Play, uh, play it again, sports. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. People yeah. have been saying uh, Asbury and Oakton, and that's where they wanted that to go. But that's yeah. even better. Yeah, they. It's um, a local man who's, yes. yeah. who's yes. yeah. uh, uh, Victor, looking to yeah. do the franchise. Yeah. 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 Um, there's also a um, um, a beauty salon supply type house uh, store, you know, for the public. Um, there's also we have a dentist that uh, is coming in and a uh, podiatrist, a foot doctor. Um, now, next week in the big shopping center convention, a lot of, most of the deals for the year get done in Vegas next week, mm -hmm. so unfortunately we don't go to that one. <laughs> <laughs> the property manager goes. But. And tell us we about staff, Dance yeah. Center Evanston expansion. Uh, basically, yeah, they have, um, they're gonna wind up being a total of a little over 13,000 square feet. Um, 
and I'm not sure the the schedule. I haven't seen. Uh, but they're working on it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. The, the entire obviously the entire agreement was completed. Yeah, that's all. Um, all negotiated, signed, sealed, delivered. Both of us have signed, so now it's just a matter of, of getting everything done. I'll tell you, in addition to the nail store, that that is really a very community um, appreciated action on your part. Oh, absolutely. Because they suffered for a couple of years. Yeah, we felt bad about the previous owners kind of no, basically telling them to uh, fault, relocate. We told them to have hope, and and you did it. So yeah, they're good people. It. All right, um, Alderman Braithwaite, oh, one more. Just to answer um, uh, your concern, Alderman Braithwaite, about reaching out to Dominic's employees, there still exists that Facebook page for yeah. the Dominic's Evanston community, and so we could probably post um, Valley's information, a link to the application notice of the job fair on that Facebook page. I'd probably need some help with that. Right. But we, uh, but we've posted it on our own personal yeah, Facebook I, pages. Yeah, I send it out. And, I send it out yeah. to my email list. And, you know, Thank you. Right. and yeah. then specific Website. to the former yeah. Dominic's employees yeah. of both yeah. stores who might be yeah. interested. In. I think so. We could do that. Yeah, no, fun. that's a great idea. That's a great idea. Uh, my last question is, can we get information regarding the uh, convention in Vegas? I don't know if it's too late, but we have a very talented city staff. And I if think you we feel, have city staff that we attend. Have, we oh, we're going. Yeah. Oh, okay. Great. I tried to get it. Yeah, it, it's an annual convention <laughs> that's like the, <laughs> the largest <laughs> of the year. The annual convention in the world. Do we have no. someone going from staff? I'm, Did I, I miss that? Okay, I think so we there we go. Because I'm first. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, the shopping center is in the second I ward. A long How do you, time ago. <laughs> if you want to come with, maybe. Uh, yeah. I, I think staff goes. Oh, wait, um, here comes the yeah. yeah. our, our economic development staff regularly participates with the International Council of Shopping Centers in their events that they have in the Chicago area. No. Uh, we, we generally don't, I don't think we've ever have sent no. uh, anyone to the Las Never. Vegas uh, convention. You can go to so, uh, and we will continue to be supportive and I know we continue to work with you and if there's opportunities at the ICSC in Chicago we will do, continue to work on that. It doesn't compare however because I've been Sold to that to, uh, Korea. <laughs> but thank you for sharing that. You got it. You're welcome. All right um, I, you guys can you, you don't you, I don't think they have to stay for the council. Do you? No I think they should be fine. Thank you very much. Okay, we'll thank share, you. We'll share with everybody. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank Thanks. you gentlemen. Thank you. All right. Um, Okay, so where are we just did Valley Produce. Okay, mm -hmm. um, A15. Um, whose turn is it? Alderman Braithwaite. <laughs> That's right. Uh, it's Ordinance 56015, increasing the number of Class D licenses from uh, Saver Inc. Uh, doing business as GGO's Pizzeria at 1001 Davis Street. And that's for introduction. Okay, second. Any discussion on this? It increases uh, D licenses from 51 to 52. All those in favor of recommending to the council say aye. 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 Any opposed? Alderman Grover. Madam Chair, thinking this might wrap up our committee meeting tonight. I move ordinance 57015, decreasing the number of Class D liquor licenses for COSI doing business as cozy at 1740 Sherman Avenue, removing them from our list of licenses because apparently they are not selling alcohol. Okay. Any discussion on that one? Was there a second? Second. Second. All those in favor of recommending introductions say aye. 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 Any opposed? I, um, committee, I think on those where we're decreasing the licenses because people aren't selling or out of business, we can just uh, suspend the rules and take action on them mm -hmm. in the same night. Okay, so let's do that on that one. All right, um, anybody, staff, anybody have any comments? Have no? All, right. All right, thank you. Anybody in the audience want to say anything? No? Okay, thank you. All right, we'll adjourn and we'll start, what time will, are we allowed to start the council? Not before 7.15, I don't think. Seven, okay. We have a rule, we can't start before seven. So the next meeting will be at 7. It will be a council meeting because we have no, uh-oh. We've Breaking news. We've uh, noticed on the agenda that the meeting will convene at the conclusion of ANPW. So we do not have to wait to 7.15 tonight. I thought we had a rule that we can't start we can't the, council, the council meeting. We can't start.
before. It well, might we, say we, that we, on the agenda, but we have a rule. No, we don't. Well, it's up. It's don't up. We? We, we uh, Madam Chair, members of the committee, we do not have that rule any longer. That was revised out about three years ago. We do have a rule regarding the start of P&D after A and PW, but we do not have a rule regarding council start times anymore. Okay. Well, we've told the speaker 7 o'clock, just so you know. What should we do? Uh, Perhaps we split the difference and say 6:45, and as there's there's other presentations on, okay. so if there's okay. folks coming, all right. Um, all right, the next meeting will start at 6:45.